Hello, hello. Welcome to Sleuth Slut. I'm Brenda, your Sleuth Slut extraordinaire. I read crime fiction widely and give you my feminist perspective on what I've read. This time I read the hugely popular The Chestnut Man by Soren Spijstop, originally published in Danish in 2017. I obviously read the English translation. This, as I'm sure you know, has been made into a Netflix series. This is a serial killer story, very much in the Nordic noir genre. We've got the two detectives, uh, the woman who is part of the homicide squad, and then we've got a guy who's been temporarily kicked out of Europol. These two are sort of, it's not that they're not likable, I just didn't find they had much personality and I had a bit of the same issue with the detectives in The Tenant. I just couldn't like connect to them. They're just sort of grumpy. That's not really a personality trait. Again, this being a serial killer story, there are quite a few victims. Many of the victims are single moms. There is a bit of a gendered element here, but I would say that the women in this story are very much portrayed as full people. They have agency. So I didn't really have an issue with that part of it. Again, in this story, much like in The Tenant, most of the main characters are white and that's probably just because it's Denmark. Now, part of the reason that I say this is very much in the Nordic noir genre is that it is very bleak. It's extremely violent. It goes into details. So there are a few warnings here. There's abuse of children. There's sexual abuse of children. There's like mutilation, uh, torture. So this really, for me as a sensitive reader, exceeded my violence tolerance level and uh, I've had this experience before reading Nordic Noir when I read Joe Nesbo and after that I was like no more but then I read The Tenant and it wasn't so bad um, but yeah this one not for me. Despite my personal enjoyment of the book being pretty low I'm gonna give this three stars. The plot holds together it's a very long book first of all and I found the pacing was not quite right. And if you read a lot of detective fiction, if you read a lot of mysteries, you might have issues with um, the identity of the murderer. I'm not gonna give any plot spoilers. There just wasn't enough leading up to the um, revelation. While at the same time, just because I've read so many of these, I knew that that was the obvious choice. So. Mm. I think I'm gonna step away from the Nordic Noir for a while. I super enjoyed the three original Girl with the Dragon Tattoo books, which is what got me into this in the first place, but I'm finding overall I'm having trouble connecting with these characters. Let me know if you enjoy Nordic Noir. Please like, share, and subscribe, and join me every other Wednesday, or sometimes every Wednesday, for more Sluslet. Merci, au revoir.